Remember those old countdowns uh, from the movies from them uh, back in back in the day with the tapes? Well, I'm going to show you how to remake that countdown. Now, this can be done uh, really well because it's all procedural. There's nothing manual, nothing to be animated, no trouble like that. It's completely procedural, pre-programmed, which is really awesome, including sound. So, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, we're going to go down to our project bin in Caden Life. We're going to select this drop down and we're going to be prompted with a bunch of options. Now these are really cool, uh, they're all really useful and uh, the one thing that stands out here is this drop down because it says generators. What we're going to do is we're going to generate a countdown and it's this counter here. And when we click on the counter we have this small window that pops up. It's not very big, I'm going to make it a little bigger for uh, YouTube compression. We've got a combat bad quality. There. As you can see, we have a huge countdown, and this timer hasn't been made any bigger, so I hope you can see that. Uh, but as you can see, there are four different uh, values, and uh, the first one here is the millisecond, so we can set that to zero. The second one is obviously the second, so we can set it to um, zero actually as well, and we're going to set it to one, so it makes 10 seconds. As you can see, 10 seconds. If you wanted, uh, oops, set it to Yes. No. Oh my God. I'm terrible. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. And set that to one. Okay. And uh, now we have it at 10 seconds. And that would be obviously an hour. That would be a minute. I mean, that would be an hour up here. And what we can do is we can actually make it count down from one up to the 10. If you wanted to make a top 10 list of something. Or you can actually, uh, well, you can actually unclick that and make it count down. Uh, we can remove the background. Uh, well, why did it set it to zero? I'm sorry. There, my bad. Uh, uh, we have uh, the possibility to adjust, obviously, the frames if you have a low frame rate on your footage. And one very interesting feature here is the beep. We have sound design. Now, it can beep only at the end, it can beep not at all, or it can beep once every frame, which is pretty cool. And when we press enter, we have to save the file. We have to save it just like you would save a video file because you're generating it. So we're going to go to a random file. I've got two uh, files here. I'm going to save it over top of one. Uh, in fact, no, I'm going to make a new file. You just type in random stuff or something, whatever. Anything, doesn't matter. And register it. And now we can just drag it over and we have generated a countdown with sound as you can see which is really awesome so yeah thank you very much for watching hopefully you liked it um this countdown is pretty cool but you know if you want to give it more stylized effect more stylized look then you can actually um we can add a bunch of uh color grading things we can add some old film effect by adding the old film and we can add some grain by adding the grain. Now as you can see we have a very old uh, effect going on. So that's really great and that does it for me. I'm out of ideas. So hopefully you'll find a good use for this effect and I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.